I'll make one instead. So he took his dog Max, and he took some black thread, and he tied a big horn on top of his head. <laughs> then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, giddy up. <laughs> and the sleigh started down toward the homes where the who lay a snooze in their town. He slid down the chimney of other tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. And he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. He cleaned up his box as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took the last can of hoo hash. <gasps> then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. Now, grinned the Grinch, I'll stuff up the tree. He did the same thing to the other who's houses, leaving cracks much too small for the other who's mouses. It was quarter of dawn, all the who's still a bed, all the who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's. <laughs> he was grinchishly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will all cry. Boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, and then it started to grow. But this sound wasn't sad, why, this sound sounded glad. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. Then the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. Then he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. And the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And then the true meaning of Christmas came through. And the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches plus two. <laughs> With a smile in his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerily blowing hoo-hoo on his trumpet. He rode into Whoville. He brought back their toys. He brought back their floof to the Who girls and boys. He brought everything back. All the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. Welcome Christmas, bring your cheer. Cheer to all who's far and near. Christmas Day is in our grasp, so long as we have hands to clasp. Christmas Day will always be, just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas, as we stand, heart to heart and hand in hand. How the Grinch stole Christmas, the end. to meet all 
of you. So meet us by the taxi and we'll take a picture or two. Bye everyone! Bye.